What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome to another Pokemon Sword and Shield of VGC 2022 showdown live, and I can't contain my excitement because I think we cracked the code. So a few days ago I made a video saying, hey, hail is bad, don't use it. And what am I doing today? Well, I'm doing this, but that's that's another thing, that's, that's for a different thing, but here! Here we have Hail V2, and I do have to give a shout out to Tanner Mask because the original version of this team was a little bit less consistent, but it was the same sort of idea. Um, it was called Hail Yes, but uh, Tanner actually, you know, threw me uh, an idea here and I ended up going with it uh, with, you know, me making some optimizations in the form of Incineroar 2. Uh, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video at any point in time, do me a favor, leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications because I bring you daily Pokemon VGC content. I don't know why. I, I think I'm supposed to say VGC content. I always mix it up. I, I feel like I don't say the same thing every day. Maybe I do, but yeah. Uh, also answer my comment question of the day. Uh, what hail Pokemon, like what hail abuser do you think is necessary for hail to succeed in Gen 9? Or what buff do you think hail needs in Gen 9? Let me know. Also, check out my clips channel. I made a clips channel and I like, you know, let you guys know about it at the beginning of a video like a couple of days ago, but we're already up to like almost 500 subscribers and the the clips are popping off. This is 23,000 views. So people who are not like part of the community are just looking at it for some reason. But yeah, be sure to check that out. Link in the description uh, and let's get into it. So I have been staying on the Sabado Gigantamax uh, account because uh, I, I don't want to use Hail on my main account. I think it's blasphemous. Uh, but we're at 1328, which is like, you know, it's it's lower mid ladder. But that just is like a testament as to how far we've been able to develop the Hail um, archetype for this format. Because before, it was nigh unusable. Like, we couldn't get a win for the life of us. But yeah, uh, we will be making a nightmare, nightmare, nightmare video soon. But let's go ahead and just start with Hail. Uh, so let me go over the team. So we're using Choice Band Slush Rush Arctazolt, which uh, if you run a Jolly Nature will allow you to outspeed uh, Calyrex Shadow at plus two, which of course can be achieved with Slush Rush um, in the hail. We have Bolt Beak, which doubles in power if we move before the target. Obviously that speed's gonna be super important, but also we're at a speed tier where if like we wanna get like a KO under Trick Room and we're up against something that, I don't know, would usually be faster, like a Zacian and Trick Room's up, we will still like come close to one-shotting it. Uh, but yeah, uh, we have uh, Lolan Ninetales with a Focus Sash, Snow Warning, Freeze Dry, Hypnosis, Aurora Veil, Icy Wind. Uh, I could run Blizzard, but I think Freeze Dry is so much better in this format for like Gastron and stuff. Also, notably, we do have Icy Wind on the Arc Dizzle because there are some situations where a speed drop is more important than damage, um, you know, versus like a Dynamaxed Lando, like maybe I want to go for like an Icy Wind into a Max Steel Spike with Solgaleo. Like there are those situations. Uh, we have our Venusaur G-Max, we have Sludge Bomb, Leaf Storm, Sleep Powder, and Weather Ball. Uh, we have Solgaleo, just like a max speed, almost max attack, bulky spread, Protect, Sunseal Strike, Earthquake, Wild Charge. We have Incineroar 2 adjusted, so instead of Substitute, the move we almost never clicked, we now have Bulldoze to activate the Weakness Palsy, and of course we have Landorus with Rock Slide, Earthquake, Fly, Swords Dance. So, I have only used Hail on this account, and we managed to get up to 1300s, so maybe I can continue that streak, uh, and I'll get a decent video out of it. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. Hopefully today isn't a complete disaster like last time we tried to use Hail. That was like embarrassing, but I was I was okay with it. Um, let's see. So immediately, I'm not hating Arctazolt on lead. So the fun part about this team is you can usually just lead off Arctazolt and it's like relatively safe. Um, and you can also go Incineroar, but you always bring Ninetales in the back because you're able to reduce damage from uh, like G-Max Charizard moves or from rain moves or rain boosted moves. Um, and by leading off with uh, nine or with Incineroar 2, we're also able to toss off things like Will-O-Wisp onto Lando or Zacian. Uh, but if they end up leading off with like just Kyogre and let's say a Grim Snarl, then we're actually able to just toss off a Bolt Beak and get massive damage there. Our last Pokemon here, I'm gonna go ahead and go with the Solgaleo because you know Solgaleo just kind of does his thing. Um, so this is a bit of an annoying situation because. I am not certain if they can one-shot whatever here, but I would say that this is gonna be a situation where a Bolt Beacon to Talonflame is pretty justified because if we can get rid of that, uh, our Solgaleo sort of has like a great time. Um, we're gonna go for the Wisp onto the Lando. Obviously, we're gonna get like Dynamaxed and Tailwinded on, uh, but it shouldn't be the end of the world because both of our Pokemon can take at least one hit, except, you know, Arctazolt probably doesn't take a Max Rockfall. Like that's, that's like the, the exception here. But yeah, let's see what we can do. 
What? Stop it. Stop it now. No, that's illegal. Don't rock slide me. Okay, I'm so faster. Yep. So what is your set? Does This doesn't KO, does it? That was illegal. I'm, I'm fairly certain that was illegal. Uh, okay. I just got Dynamaxed on by a Talonflame. I don't know what to think. Uh, alright, so the Lando's burned. I think I absolutely have to get my Solgaleo in here, and I think I just go for the Barrage. They Airstream that. I'm gonna have to take a single target Earthquake, but it shouldn't do too much. Alright. Now, here, it's in my best interest to get the Arctazolt in. Oh, this is going to be rough. Okay, so I need to get Ninetales in second for the sake of not losing to, like, Kyogre in the back. And I can go for the Max Lightning KO here. And, of course, a Icy Wind might as well. There's the EQ. I was not expecting to get, you know, done dirty like that. But it's not the end of the world. We do still have Sash Ninetales, so if um this isn't, like, Scarf Kyogre, I think we can win this. That's really it. Like, that's the only way we don't win is if it's, like, Scarf Kyogre. There's Zashi and Crowned. Uh, that's within Max Quake range. We shouldn't get one shot either. I'm mostly concerned with the double up, so here it's in my best interest just to go ahead uh, and... After an Icy Wind, I do outspeed the Zacian, but I should probably just go for the Freeze Dry. And like I said, if it's not Scarf Kyogre, we'll one-shot with, um... We'll one-shot with, uh, Max Lightning. Or even Wild Charge at plus two in terrain, that should do it. But yeah, uh, I guess the only thing I don't want to happen is lose my, lose my Ninetales here. Oh, we're gonna lose my Ninetales here. Can I win this? This is a 2.5 times speed Lando with a with a life orb. I think I do have an out, but it's such a bad out. Like it's literally just like I, I don't think I win this. Um dang. Okay, let me think. What are the odds I take this? I mean I don't have any defense boost. I'm gonna have to eat an earthquake anyways. And one would imagine here he would like protect Kyogre and then go for the KO next turn. I don't know. Let's just go. Let's just go for the max deal spike into Lando. Let's just, let's just roll the dice. Yep. Nah, he doesn't protect the Kyogre. But I would have died to the next one anyways. Yeah, that was rough. I, I genuinely didn't expect a, a Dynamax Talonflame there. I was like, yeah, Tailwind. No, I just got Dynamaxed on by Talonflame. Okay. What a way to start game one. Okay. Let's be real here. Um, <laughs> when you're running a slush rush composition, I think the last thing you want to see is a wheezing. However, Incineroar 2 does seem like a very solid lead here. Uh, as well as Solgaleo. I mean, like, that's not terrible. Yeah. Let's just do that. I think that gives us quite a few options. Uh, let's go ahead and bring the Arctazolt and Ninetales in the back. Because they can clean up in the endgame. My main concern here, though, is um, the Regigigas. I'm going to have to burn that if I want to win. And I'm also going to have to like protect on the Weezing turn one. So let's go ahead and go for the Will-O-Wisp on the Gigas. And <sighs> let me think. I don't outspeed this thing at... I mean, I, I should outspeed a Regigigas if it max strikes me, right? No. I think I just go for the Protect. Endure, okay. Interesting. I don't know what your game plan is here. Knock off, okay. That's a little wacky. Uh, however, I can now knock out the Weezing here by literally just going for Bulldoze into Max Quake. And I think that's not a bad play. I mean, he can go for a Protect, but if he's like Shookaberry, if he doesn't have Protect, if he wants to go for like Will-O-Wisp Max Strike stuff, I'm, I'm like in a good spot. Yes, I'm going to decrease my speed, but I think we're fine because we're decreasing everything speed. That was for the knockoff. I'm going to lose my guy. However, oh, he had a Lumberry. That eh, doesn't really matter now though, bud. Uh, let's go ahead and get in the Ninetales 
He doesn't have any weather, so I should be able to get up my thing. Uh, let's go ahead and go for this. Ooh, this is actually kind of an interesting question. Do I want Veil? I do want Veil. I do want Veil. And I'm, I want to go for a Max Quake on the Dialga. Like, even if it's policy and they want to go for, like, my Ninetales, like, I'm still going to be doing decent damage. Eh, maybe, maybe I do Icy Wind here just for the speed control. I could Icy Wind for speed control here just to get my Solgaleo back on, like, decent footing. But the Veil's most likely just better. Even if he's policy, like, we're going to be at plus two special defense with everything. All right. Now, admittedly, I would like to lose my Ninetales this turn. Go ahead and delete the Ninetales from play. That'd be appreciated. Yep. All right. Let's get in the Arc Desult. And now, now the Arc Desult can start doing work. Because here's the thing. I go for Icy Wind. This is going to be like a situation where Icy Wind is actually like going to be our best friend. I just Icy Wind Quake again. Oh, I missed the Regigigas, but that isn't as big of a deal. I can now outspeed, and we pick up a KO with the crit. And that also means we have some pretty decent speed control here. Uh, and if it is Sash, we break the Sash as well. He shouldn't be able to one-shot me with Veil and literally everything. He has to crit me. Oh, he has Wide Guard. That's cute. There's no way you pick up this KO. Okay. Interesting. But, like, tell, give me one reason not to do this more. Like, I just keep hitting you. I still have two turns of Veil, and I still have, like, a lot of special defense. Oh, that slow start could, could be annoying. That slow start could legitimately be annoying. Maybe we should go for you. Hmm. That's kind of scary. No. No, we're not going to do that. Give me your Calyrex, please. All right. He got past the slow start, but we still have our thing. Like, I don't really think I care. If he wants to attack here, he has to do it now. Yeah, he's just going to keep going for the wide guard, but it doesn't really matter. Okay. Uh, he successfully stalled that out. Let's go for the Icy Wind. Icy Wind will pick up... He's Pattaya Berry? What? What? Why are you Pattaya? I'm scared. I'm scared. Okay. Um. Did I just lose? I just lost, didn't I? No, no, I won. Okay. All right. We're good. We're good. That scared the hell out of me. I'm like, why are you substituting so much? You just want to stall up my terrain. No, he's Pattaya Berry. <laughs> okay. We're good though. But because the Sun Seal Strike crit, I don't know how much that... I don't know. It's, I only did 52%. Like, it's it's whatever. All right. Anyways, that was interesting. That was interesting. All right. This is actually a really fun lead to do. Because um, you can actually catch your opponent off guard pretty bad here. What I tend to do versus, like, Rinya Sun is I will lead off Arc Desult, But also lead off Landorus because it, it opens up a lot of doors here. If you lead off Arc Desult Landorus, you catch pretty much every lead that they can possibly go for. And you always want to bring the Ninetales in the back because Ninetales allows you to do a bunch of annoying stuff. Uh, such as remove the sun. <laughs> set up your things. So you can one-shot, um, you know, Charizard. And my last Mon will typically be Incineroar 2, but Venusaur is also not terrible. But I think Incineroar 2 is usually better. Alright, start timer. Okay, let's see Charizard, Incineroar, that's more or less what I expected. So here's what I have to do. Um, I can go ahead and just go for like an Icy Wind here. And I actually want to max guard because uh, if they fake out my Arc Desult or if they go for like a hard switch, like I have to make sure that I have like the upper hand on this turn. Or I could max Airstream as well. You know, I'm going to go. Not oh, I completely misclicked. I completely misclicked. That was very bad. However, I can do something more annoying here. Um, it's not impossible to get this win, and you guys are going to absolutely hate me for what I'm about to do. 
This isn't impossible to redeem after that just egregious misclick. All right, nine tails, 60%. Let's do it. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Lo siento. Lo siento. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know, I'm, I feel bad about that one because like, granted, I think I got the play more or less correct had I done what I meant to do, but I didn't do what I meant to do, so I had to do something illegal. Uh, but yeah, okay. Okay, okay, all right. Um, Arctazolt lead here isn't that bad. Or truth be told, like Incineroar 2, Solgaleo kind of carries. Um, we definitely want the Lando for the end game, and I wouldn't mind Nine Tails. We almost never bring Venusaur to be honest. Like Venusaur is like a very situational Pokemon. Like we almost never have to bring it. Yeah, I think this lead kind of messes him up unless he's um, unless he is burning jealousy. This lead kind of messes him up. And I'm going to hope he's not burning Jealousy. Is it better just to go for plus two Max Quake into Incineroar? To like possibly prevent burning Jealousy? I would say so. Alright, don't be burning Jealousy, buddy. I'm going to need you to not be burning Jealousy. Alright, we do get the one shot. Bulldoze is nice because it also covers for Sugarberry. Uh, yeah, I don't hate this position because I still have like, yep. All right, there we go. That's another, that's another quick one. That's another pretty quick one, which is kind of disappointing because I want to hit 30 minutes and the more games I play, the more I feel like I'm going to start throwing because that's typically how these things go. Okay. Make sure I edit that part I had to get up. Um, so I think I've seen this one before. I believe this is like weakness policy Groudon plus like Ice Shard Lapras. And we have a few options, right? Um, I could go Venusaur here and it could be very good. Like this is one of those situations where I'm like, yeah, Venusaur is like not bad. However, however, once again, Incineroar Landorus just feels right. It just, it just feels like the right call. Um, yeah, Incineroar, Landorus, Arctazolt, Ninetales. Let's do that. Why not? And you might be wondering. Yeah, I can see a lot of reasons to not. But when I say why not, I mean, I'm making a video here, guys. <laughs> I mean, I'm making a video here, guys. And I got to, at the very least, impress the viewers with hail shenanigans. Uh, let's go for this Will-O-Wisp. They're definitely just going to want to go for um, their funny move. And one would imagine they would just like max Quake Incineroar too. So that means I can get the Ninetales in here and probably also get my my thing off my, uh, what is it called? D Hello? Okay. Uh, not the end of the world because we're just going to get, we're both going to get our, our Veils off. He probably, does, he probably doesn't even want to stay in here now. Let's go for the Snarl uh, and I'll get my own Aurora Veil. Because I think I benefit more. Eh, no. Let's just go for the Will-O-Wisp. I'll go for the Will-O-Wisp because Aurora Veil will, will keep me safe enough. And if I don't burn this Groudon, I, may, I am going to be in a little bit of trouble. Burning that Groudon could be very nice. Okay, that's fine. Because we're going to get our Veil off. That thing's burned, so it will take some residual damage along with, you know, everything else that's going on. Uh, he's gotten rid of our terrain or our, our weather here. However... I think this is like a certified Arctazolt moment. This feels like a certified Arctazolt moment. But where do I get it in? Because I, I can't go Lando right now. If I go Lando right now, that could really screw me over. Uh, let's go ahead and sack our Incineroar 2 for the purpose of getting a Snarl off. And we'll attempt the uh, Forbidden move. We'll attempt the Forbidden move. All right, we fail on the Forbidden move. Oh, we didn't lose our Incineroar 2. See, that's why I don't want to get Lando in here, because Lando could honestly lose us the game if that happened. Uh, this is still kind of rough. Let's get Lando in now. 
I did get a snarl off. All right, let me think. Because I need to I need to get my weather up. And even then, my weather wouldn't be that great if I, like, don't use it right. Um, let's snarl. I'm going to go for the forbidden move again. They're going to helping hand. I don't really mind as long as I land my forbidden move. Cool. Forbidden move. Connected. Landorus. Entered. Swords dance. Clicked. Uh, Arctazolt activated. And because they actually went for their... Because they went for the helping hand that turn, uh, they're not going to wake up this turn because they didn't burn a turn of sleep yet. Had they not helping handed, I actually would be pretty scared of this, of this play. Hurricane, don't. I don't think I've ever not gotten confused from Hurricane, so that is a little bit annoying. Uh, let's go ahead and go for the max airstream onto you plus a bolt beak and just hope for the best. Because I need the speed for the Calyrex in the back. All right, I need you to land this Arctazolt, otherwise we lose. Probably. All right, thank you, Arctazolt. Thank you. All right, don't. Okay. <laughs> you have no idea how terrified I am of Hurricane as like a, a concept. Luckily, this does look like it's like AV Moltres, so I can get the KO with Bolt Beak here. Ooh, do I switch out my Arctazolt for like permanent? stuff later i think i do i think i go for quake here and i'm gonna get my my nine tails in so i get perma weather for the rest of the game because that's a two shot nice uh he ends up going for a bulk up let's go ahead max airstream and freeze dry because that'll connect on like anything like if, if they protect the cali here or if they protect the the groudon like, we're still in a good spot. Yep. Get that off. And now we have plus one speed on the nine tails, which is just devastating for my opponent. I would cry if I were him. There's the Calyrex Shadow. We have enough, like, speed on this Landorus that we don't really care. Uh, let's go for a Rock Slide, and I think Rock Slide into Freeze Dry should do it on this, on this Groudon. Uh, and if it doesn't, we get Arctazolt next turn, and we shouldn't lose anything. Besides Ninetales. Ninetales will go down here. Alright, that's good damage, and that should be in range of Freeze Dry. Sick. Can you knock out my Ninetales so I can get eight? Okay, well that's... That's not great. Uh, I just spam Earthquake now. I spam Earthquake. And Icy Wind. Sure, let's click the fun move. Alright, GG. Well played. All right, uh, but yeah, we're at 22 minutes. Let's let's do like one or two more. Hopefully I can get one or two more battles in. Ooh, okay. Uh, this is another very, very good Arc Dizzle game, but it, it's highly dependent on, on leads. Uh, here I can go ahead and, actually do I, this is another, no, I just, I just go Solgaleo. That's fine. Nine tails and we'll bring the Arcdo in the back. Yeah. He knows. They know, they know the ult. They know the ult. Reggie Alecki. Yeah, I mean, I figured as much. I figured as much. Um, But that doesn't... Like, they have no switch-ins to this, so I can literally just continue on with my game plan uh let's max quake and bulldoze yeah we're gonna get electroweb they actually missed the incineroar too which is kind of big but not not terribly bad um i'm gonna dynamax here activate my weakness policy get this ko on the reggie Alecki, uh and probably keep my incineroar unless they're throat chop <laughs> you know i figured this would happen someday but i just hoped it wouldn't be today there is a very dangerous out that we can go for, and I'm, I'm, I want to do it so bad. I want to do it so dang bad. Okay. Arctazolt might, Arctazolt might clean up if we play this right. Let's go ahead and max Quake and Cinera, and go for a Astro Barrage. It's probably not, eh, it might be in range. This is a pretty strong hit. All right, nice. We get that KO. Incineroar 2 does not live. 
However, check this out. No, really, peep this one. No more Zacian. I hope. I mean, I have to give up my Solgaleo this turn to do this, but one would imagine you definitely want to protect the Kyogre. And if you're running Life Orb, you're like, there's no way you don't protect this. No more Zacian. <laughs> you have to add Protect. Come on, buddy. Protect the Kyogre. You know what's about to happen here. You and I both know that the Zacian's about to take a big hit. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, that wasn't ideal. Um, can I salvage this? I tried to make the play. The play did not work. How can I salvage this? How can I do this? I don't think I can salvage this one. Oh man, okay, let me think. Uh, if I go, I basically just need to get my hail back up. Like that's that's the win con. If I can get hail up with Arc Desult, that's it. But I can't protect here, so I like this is the only chance I have is if somehow they spare the Arc Desult. No? Okay. No. Good game. GG. We're using Hail anyways, but I think that we, we found a way to get Hail to be at least semi-viable, you know, usable. If you're wondering why this is, why this Venusaur spread's so weird, um, it's literally just because it used to be a weakness policy set, and then I threw the weakness policy on this thing, so yeah. Uh, but that was a fun video to make. I think we I think we got a little bit more optimization on the hail team and it's been doing okay on like ladder tours or not ladder tours on room tours i've been doing okay in the room tours so yeah if you guys enjoyed leave a like in the video subscribe to the channel turn on notifications uh, and i'll see you guys in the next one bye